I've got ourselves team one to go with Bob Arms more. <laughs> Uh, I was just saying earlier, like the set that is such a good looking set. The Mo Rushan set, man. The helm is the only thing that looks pretty bad. We're missing one. Are you guys missing one? We got one hunter. We got another hunter. We got another hunter. We got Madara. We got a fourth hunter. Fifth. There's plenty. Of, you guys got plenty. Look at all those pets. You guys are basically a small army over here. Between the hunters and the pets, literally a tiny little army. Chills over on the team two, ready to go DJ, also ready on the mage. We got another DJ with EFC as well as spell steel. Which one of you guys is going to be first up though? I need to get your spade. I need to get your spade because it looks so good with this mug. I need the spade. What do you get the spade? Is it the, uh, what is it? I think you used to be able to get spade and pickaxe back in the, um... Wad days, maybe? Who is up first, actually? It is going to be Cargath. Off the bat, immediately camped up there. Flares down. They're trying to figure out who's going to be first over in a team two for now. Is it going to be the Demon Hunter? Potentially? Possibly? He is getting kill command. He's already getting eaten right now. EFC trying to see if he can swing around. That's going to be immediate freezing trap right after. Into a seal trap. Into a meld? He's right next to the big boy. Hold on a second. Big eye beam into a hunt right after. Cargath is going to take a lot of damage. Try to see if he can just separate himself from the hunter. Let the pets surround him. They're ready for him. They're ready. He's just going down. Just being levered out of one of the raptors. Big old T-Rex just trying to eat him. Trying to break the laws of physics. Just going up in the air. Still trying to still trap him into a freezing trap. As long as he can keep him away with all those pets. He's eventually going to go down. Hold on. Both of them are super low. Turtle shell. Those pets might just end up taking him out by themselves. He just hits a kill shot. Oh my god. That was actually... A little close. DJ is not gonna. <laughs> Just a quick cheeky <laughs> blink, <laughs> fire blast into a living bomb, and it's over. <laughs> oh, two damn mages. Uh, yeah, that's all. The two mages of that team. That is true. That is true. You guys got three hundred, so it's not like you can really say much. I feel. <laughs> Who's up next? Is it gonna be moderate? Is it buff arms? I think they're still trying to figure it out, right? Little army got shut down a little bit here. DJ, ready to go. You know what? I really am excited for Fire Mage. I feel like I've been, uh, what is it? Above Black Cow? <laughs> it's above Bar Barbers more. <laughs> he doesn't want to play mages, dude. He doesn't want to. He's like, I don't want to do it. No, it's a mage. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I said it multiple times, like, Warriors versus Mages. It's just such an uneven matchup. DJ is getting blasted from the side. He just, he doesn't got a good angle. At least he took down the uh, Dark Glare, though, but he's just surrounded. He got a Succubus on one end. He's got an Inferno on the other. Moderate trying to swing around the corner. Trying to follow. Does get frozen. Big combust is available for DJ. Could be potentially huge. It's going to be well for Madara. Just trying to tank up the damage. DJ does not want to fight. He got a full combust. But that wall, a bit too much of a counter, is going to be sucking me to see immediate trinket breaking himself out of this one. Moderate catching up a little bit of healing. DJ just going for a little bit of that shift in power. Are you Shimmer? Are you not Glacial Advance? Or not Glacial Advance. Or is the Glacial Advance? Is the one that, like, the frosty one that lets you cast while moving. I want to say, no, Glacial Advance, I think, is the, the Death Knight spike that goes out forward. What is the Chad, help me out here. Um, is it flow? Maybe it's flow. Ice flows. There it is. There it is. I knew the element. I knew it was frosty. That's about what I remembered. Fear onto DJ as he eats a big old meatball flame strike. Do you have like a talent that makes flame strike hit harder if they're at the epicenter of it? Because that could actually hit kind of hard. That could actually hit quite a bit, actually. It's going to be a quick interrupt. Got himself a couple of more pyros. He can real ramp up the fire blast damage into a big ignite. I don't know if he's playing like a mastery heavy build. Trying to go for fireball. Any kind of those like hard cast abilities you can do as a mage. Actually, it's quite a bit. With a living bump with Madara at absolutely no health. Phoenix Lanes, I think he's just going to be down for the count. He's got that mastery burning him. He needs a heal right now. He just tried to conflagration into a but He's just staying aggressive. You need a heal, and it's going to be a quick fire blast taking him out very, very quickly. Not much you can really do in that kind of a situation. Meanwhile, Bajira says warriors are bad, and watch your rank will cast a flop in two seconds of melee, like warrior or red lol. Warriors do have it a little bit harder, I feel like. Okay, so technically warriors are in their peak right now when it comes to their gear, because you can't get any more gear for season four. In the past, warriors generally scale well with gear. That being said, there's been plenty of times we've seen warriors like walk up against a mage and then like buff arms is like, I don't want to even do it. I don't even want to try. It's just actually, 
As a warrior, you'll just get Nova out, knocked back. Every time you have a gap closer, you have to play in a very, very specific way, man, Raven. I'm not going to lie. It is rough sometimes as a warrior. <laughs> I mean, just look at Buffers. He just in the corner. He's like, I don't want to do it. I don't even want to see a mage. I don't even want to look at him. Just make sure you move around from time to time. Otherwise, the game is going to DC you, Buff. Definitely is going to DC you at some point. DJ, try to see if you can get around the Hunter as Marwesa got pretty aggressive, taking a bit of damage of their own. That's going to be images available as DJ just trying to see if he can maybe keep himself topped off, letting the images absorb quite a bit of that damage, quite a bit of that. uh. Uh, impact still taking hits back to back they're going for that shifting power marwesa whatever damage you can do to dj while swinging behind the corner and using line aside leaping right in trying to see if he can go for some damage using line to side dj got plenty of damage of his own the big breath into a flame strike i think he's playing a big flame striker build it's got to be right nova to follow not a lot of health he's got ice block and cauterize he's got plenty of defense there goes a the caught he's not in a great spot he just needs to make sure he doesn't get caught with a caught what is happening to you Marwesa wasn't even anywhere near him, and I'm checking back with Marwesa for a second, and his health is just depleting. Is he just the mastery built up? That's gotta be right. The flame strike with a breath, couple of pyros, and that's it. You got a big mastery ticking down on the guy. That's it. He's just dying. <laughs> it's so brutal. It's gonna be all the time available for DJ. He's perfectly fine. Unless you can purge it. He's perfectly okay. He's fine taking a bunch of damage. He's got himself recovery behind the pillow. That is gonna be silence to follow him. It's Marwesa trying to close the gap. The pet is available. Grenade's getting thrown in. Trying to see if he can keep the pressure rolling in. Harpoon, he doesn't actually go anywhere. He's trying, trying to see if he can get himself any kind of recovery. And look at that dot burning. He's trying to go for any kind of recovery. But this is going to be a mage blink. And then a couple of snaps of fingers. Fire blasts everywhere. Taking him out. And that's going to be a pyro blast immediately sent into Shad Hunt. And look at the damage that one pyro did. Not only the impact, but even the burn afterwards. Imagine just getting a couple of those, like three, four. And then just stacks up and stacks up and stacks up with a big combust on top of it. The guy is absolutely just unleashed. Holy. <laughs> Are you just going to die there? You got a turtle. You're still burning them. That turtle is doing very, very little for you. It's got like a passive DR, I'm pretty sure, right? Oh, no, no, no. DJ just needs to get himself one shimmer. Fire blast and it's over. Buff arms has to find a way out of this. He's like, you know what? There's no other option. <laughs> back up against the wall at least dj got nothing left at this point so at least you got yourself somewhat of a winning strategy yeah the bleed just had to take it yeah at least as long as he doesn't go for one mage to the next he'll be fine he's just like you know what i don't want to do it who's it gonna be is it gonna be dj another dj it is chills okay that's a bit of a better matchup <laughs> i love that set it looks so good also the mace is absolutely massive by the way that looks great it actually fits the Mog, I think, pretty well. It just needs a little bit of blue to it. Oh! Did I get the mount yet? I gotta... I gotta remember if I got it or not. <laughs> Look at the size difference, man. <laughs> Immediately, he's just gonna hit your stun. It's gonna be both arms leaping out of there. He doesn't want to get stunned if he can help it. Defensive stance needs to tank up a little bit. As long as he's able to avoid Chilpil's big birds go, he might be okay. Sharpen blades at the ready. He wants to go in. Blazestorm can actually let him immune some of those stuns. That's gonna be a stun opener from Chills. Does not follow up though. He could still go for a blind. I think he's trying to see if he can evade both arms a little bit. Dampening super high. So both of them got a plate very, very clean very clean if buff arms wins this he could actually maybe get at least second wind healing out of it here and there hold on a sec <laughs> looks so good it's gonna be chilpas actually taking a bit of damage i may have to break out of the sun parry up for buff arms and chilpas kind of limited what he can do it's gonna be tricky to follow he can't really lock the guy down at all reflect is up for buff arms second stun to follow he got himself a couple of blizzards he can sneak in between buff arms super low he's got himself the rallying cry to give himself a little bit extra barred health chilpas also has barred health with a death pack it's not gonna heal him much but at least it's gonna give him some health Actually, no, it's not really. It's 47% dampening. It's not really that much of a barred health. He can go for a proper stun onto buff arms. Neither has a trinket anymore. Buff arms is if he has a blade storm, they can use to counter a stun from chills. Maybe he'll have a proper go. He's trying to see if he can buy himself some second wind healing. If he can just stay out of combat and get himself some kind of heals with second wind, he'll be in a golden spot. Chilpas needs to disrupt it, but I mean put himself right next to the warrior, right next to the danger. Double stuns out of buff arms with a blade storm. We can't stop him. I think it's just lights out for the death knight. Unless he can maybe turn it around blind. If he can get a stun. This is literally his last chance to have a go. He's got pillar and everything. 
his last opportunity to make a proper play here one obliterate second to follow trying to get more brock third stun out of both both super low oh my god do you live this or you just died to the frost fever hold on a second if you die that's a point for chills oh, he's trying to catch up as much food as he can oh second win and the team is letting that second win happen they're letting that second win come into play <laughs> my god that was so close hell yeah so he's trying to make sure that him and dj duel first spell seal is going to be the final boss he's like you know what i don't even want to fight mages with it like this we'll put you up against a hunter and the worst comes to worst that I'm, i'll be the final boss right at that point like what else can you do stun immediately to buff arms it's gonna be a full-on death shocker and buff arms leaping in he's got to find a way to close the gap with dj dj just look at that range being a melee survival hunter doesn't really matter he's got so much distance on the guy buff arms all he can do is kind of hang back there with the hippo and if he can get himself an angle with dj with a stun quick charge and maybe follow up with some damage he got a parry up too he can maybe use the parry in order to give himself a little more survivability. He's just trying to see if he can work down the health bar of the pet. Stun onto DJ. Full war breaker to follow. As long as he's very, very careful. Parry to follow. Blaze him right after. At least he's immune to CC. That's going to be big damage on the DJ too. Both arms taking hits after hits. Second stun right after. Big blades are available with a war up for a second. Big defensive up for DJ. It's going to be tricky for both arms just to keep the pressure rolling in. He's super, super low on health. Just a kill shot or even a manga sub, by the way. There's not much you can do. That's just a lot of damage out of a Bursa class. And DJ popped off with four, by the way. That Fire Mage absolutely singing, scorching these, I think for the most part, Hunters, right? Hunters and a Warlock? Absolutely blaster. Lordy. It's actually a lot. And, I mean, oh, the, the Warrior was working it back for a second, bit by bit, little by little. He was trying to bring it back for his team. I love it. Let's get another one going.